The reality is that uh, there are sending countries, primarily the Eastern European states, um, who were promised uh, access to the labour markets in receiving states and the wealthier Northern European states. And that's what they wanted, and they want to improve their own life chances by exploiting their comparative advantage, which is the cheaper labour costs. The trouble is, in the Northern European states, they don't see it that way. And there is a, what we'd say a dialogue of the deaf going on between the two sides. Now, the reality is that, of course, even in the receiving states, public services are being delivered for less, so new building projects are being delivered for less, because they're being done by workers who charge less. And so from a taxpayer's point of view, that's good news, but it's not good news from a trade union's point of view. Now, inevitably, as, period of, as time goes by, what we'll see is that labour standards will go up in the Eastern European states, and so they will lose their comparative advantage, and therefore the arguments about social dumping become less poignant. But on the other hand, we also know that um, in some sectors, actually, the migration, the posting, is done from the existing, the original member states. So it's high-skilled migration, and you don't hear arguments about social dumping there. It's about filling a need of a labour market. Yes, yeah, so the concern is that with the two-year rule that says that if you are likely to be in the host state for more than two years, therefore you will get the rights of a migrant worker so equal treatment, as opposed to the rights of a posted worker, which are very limited rights, then uh, that undermines the structure of both the Rome 1 regulation and also the distinction between migrant workers under Article 45 and posted workers under Article 56 of the treaty. Posted workers had no impact whatsoever. Uh, people don't really know what a posted worker is anyway. The language in English is, is really rather um, opaque. And in fact, actually, there's only about 30,000 uh, posted workers coming to the UK, or maybe 30 to 40,000. So the numbers are very small compared to migrant workers who are coming under Article 45. And we don't have proper documents about the numbers who are coming under Article 45, but it's anywhere between one and three million. And so it was migrant workers under Article 45 which had a significant impact on the referendum results, not posted workers.